The following is brought to you by Haney Farms, your canola, corn, and cereal seed experts. Find us at HaneyFarms.com. Okay, Don, we're standing in front of your new 86-foot uh, uh, contour contour drill. Um, is there a lot of demand in the market for a drill this big? Well, it's interesting. It, there wouldn't be a lot, you know, if you looked at the masses. It isn't the 86-foot drills that are selling in big numbers. But there's larger and larger farms all the time. The horsepower uh, of the tractors have been increasing a lot in the last couple of years. So the capacity from a horsepower standpoint is there to pull it. And when you talk to guys that are seeding 10,000, 12,000, 15,000, 20,000 acres, uh, they've got to cover a, a lot of ground in a short period of time. And manpower has been an issue for a number of years and continues to be. So the more they can do with one machine with one man, the better off they are. And that's why they're looking at these, uh, these larger units. And you know, given the spring we've had this year in Western Canada with the moisture and uh, lack of good seeding days, a lot of guys are looking at bigger and bigger drills and probably the biggest demand we have right now is in the 61, 71 foot range guys saying, you know what, I, I need a bigger drill for next year. Uh, the 86 is a natural progression, especially for these bigger guys. Okay, so uh, what kind of horsepower tractor would you need to have in front of an 86 foot drill? Sure, no, that's a good question. Generally we quote in that four and a half to five horsepower per foot for just the drill. The tank will be additional on top of that and that can be you know, with a 450 bushel cart, maybe 70 to 75 horse to a 650 bushel quote, you might be 100 to 125 horse for the cart only. So some of that's dependent on the soil conditions. Some of it's dependent on the type of opener. A double shoot opener will take more horsepower than a single shoot opener. So, you know, generally our customers will know their area. If they're used to using a conventional air drill, we say that the, the uh, independent depth control opener will take 15 to 20 percent less horsepower than a conventional air drill. You mentioned independent depth control. Is that one of the reasons why farmers are going with the Morris Contour drill? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know as we've as we've grown with our technology in Western Canada, we understand the requirement for being more precise with our seed placement. The independent depth control allows each opener to move independently of the frame. So as this unit is going down the field, you'll see all of these openers moving independently to match up the contours of the ground. You know, very critical in small seeded crops like canola, canary, flax, those types of things. But we're seeing some yield advantages in our traditional seal, uh, cereals as well with running with these type of openers versus a conventional air, air drill. Okay, so really the uh, the need for a, a drill that's 86 feet, is it really comes down to the farmer wanting to be efficient. I think so, yeah. I mean, uh, when you talk contour, you're talking about precision placement, whether you're talking our 25 foot all the way to the 86 foot, doesn't make a difference. But really beyond that, you're looking at maximizing your acres per day. So depending on the size of your farm and the number of acres you feel you've got, the window you've got to seed in, you've got to figure out how many feet you need and the 86 foot will match with a certain number of guys out there. In terms of openers on the contour drill, yeah. uh, do you make your own openers or can a, farm, or can a farmer go with uh, other manufacturers openers or how sure. does that work? No, great question. Uh, we have a, a, a fairly good selection ourselves. We, we can single shoot with just a knife. We can single shoot with a spread tip, a three inch spread tip. We can double shoot with a side band. We can double shoot with a paired row. But we also, we have customers that, that are using uh, other manufacturers openers. The, the other manufacturers that focus on openers have come up with some good ideas as well. And we've tried to work with them also. So there are other openers out on the marketplace. Okay, 